What is up, everyone? Uh, midday is midday, and uh, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't do much of anything outside of just uh, I um, I'm trying to learn some stuff still. In my spare time, I go on the website called Wandrium, and I learn um, like certain try to like take a little class out of that every so often. I also like to take notes, and right now I'm trying to teach myself about the economy and finance and businesses and stuff like that. Because I want to understand how American money works. And like I said, the more I learn about it, the more it just comes off as, it just comes off as ridiculousness. It just comes off as silly, silly stuff that we just be like, okay about. Like, for example, um, like I say, you know, like because everything is so expensive, we're not expected to ever make the money to do things that we want to do like uh we never we never actually we'll never be able to work to get the things that we want which is why loaning and credit and money markets exist is because it's kind of like their way of saying okay if you don't have the money to get this stuff <coughs> let's just find a way to establish it so you can make little payments towards the thing Right. Instead of making a thing affordable, they just say, we're going to find a way to get you. We're going to find a way to get you to pay for the thing. We'll get you to buy the thing right now and then pay for it later, which sounds cool. But it's like pay for it later just means, you know, you're still going to pay for it. It's just small increments and stuff like that. And the increments can be determined by whoever is doing the loan. So it's like, oh, uh we want about a third of your income to go into this into this loan. It's like, oh God. You know, it's just stuff like that. It's just it's just the more I learn about money, the more it just feels like selfishness being motivated by the richest people. And it's dumb because the best way to kind of solve these problems is to just either either give people more money or just make stuff more affordable. And it's like, no, we can't do that. We can't make stuff more affordable or give anybody any money because if we do, then the economy will cl collapse and, and, and rich people won't be able to buy their yachts, you know, stuff like that. Also, because of all the stuff I learned about money, I don't trust cryptocurrencies. So uh, I remember somebody actually like, um, I remember somebody actually um like getting a little, uh, getting a little miffed about my last video, basically saying, you know, well, if you're not gonna, you know, if you're, uh, you know, if you don't trust cryptocurrency, how else would you expect it? Well, how else would you recommend that people get rich in America? And I'm like, people shouldn't be like, you know, getting rich shouldn't be the goal. It's like the only reason why getting rich is a goal right now is because a house is expensive. The only reason why getting rich is a kind of like a goal for everybody is because everything that we kind of need to survive is ridiculously expensive you know what i mean so it's like it's not really that people want to get rich as much as people just want to afford basic necessities without putting themselves in a poorhouse or you know or uh you know um just dying because they just can't afford it it's ridiculous so i'm like you know just it's like and it's just kind of sad because at the end of the day in america the only way to get rich is ultimately to invest because you can't work X and O amount of hours and get rich off of that unless you know you got like a, a job that involves a degree. And even then, if the higher ups don't want you to get paid that much money, the higher ups can just say, "Don't pay this position any more money than it already gets," and boom. It's just you know rich people just it's just ultimately just rich people ruining everything, and we kind of just ignore it. And we kind of just sort of just are okay with it. And it's sad because <coughs> it shouldn't have to be that way. It's just because of white supremacist obsession with, you know, slavery. And what better way to motivate slavery than to give people an incentive to work more? And what better, re and what better thing to work more for than house, food, water, basic necessities? This is weird. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry to go on that rant there, but the big reason why I'm going on that rant is because Bob Menendez, because uh, I'm kind of been following up with some politics stuff, and Bob Menendez just recently got in trouble for like a whole bunch of like what crime stuff. I didn't really specifically look into it, but I just know that he's being indicted, and I know the Republicans are like slam dunk. Yeah, 
you guys can also get indicted for stuff. And I'm pretty sure, like, every liberal is like, effing okay. <laughs> what else? If you did something wrong, put him in jail. <laughs> it's not like anybody's going to be like, oh, no, the Democrats are getting in trouble, too. We got to find a way to protect them. No, 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 no. You did something wrong, go to jail. You did something wrong, go to jail. Bad. Um, let's see. Uh, and it's just so weird because, like, as a politician, you technically get paid to do nothing. Why would you want to mess that up? Like, I would love to be a politician just to make the kind of money that they make, knowing that, like, I don't have to do any work. Like, these people, especially, like, especially, like, federal government workers, they don't do nothing. Like, they, what do they do? They just try to find ways to oppress and stifle the working man. And and they do that with, they make, come on, man. Like, how do you how do you mess that up? Like, I hope he goes to jail. I hope he sees the inside of a prison. Because, like, yo, you how do you fumble the bag that hard, my guy? Like, how do you, uh, what, 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 whatever. Uh, I do got training tonight because uh, I, it, it, it's so surreal that I get a chance to go back to training and kind of just sort of do that, um, you know, like, it's so surreal, like, you know, just about, like, a while ago, I was sleeping in my car, basically, like, just sort of wondering how I was going to survive, and then I was sleeping at my cousin's place, just wondering how I'm going to survive, and now I'm sleeping in my own place. You probably might be wondering, well, what do you sleep at? Where's your bed? <laughs> I'm poor. I'm still poor, guys. Beds are expensive, which I did not know. I did not know that furniture and beds were, like, expensive until I actually like, looked at prices of some, and I'm like, oh, okay. You know, now the bad credit, good credit, no credit part of every furniture store commercial kind of makes more sense now because it's like, oh, dang, you really do need credit to buy furniture. Plus, I'm not probably going to get any furniture anytime soon because I live alone and I'm not about to, you know, hoist furniture into up those stairs to get to where I need to go to. Now, I probably might get ask my neighbor to help me, uh, you know, put my stuff into the, the house or whatever. But like, you know, I'm just, you know, uh, he, you know, he's he's a man with a family and I wouldn't want to inconvenience him. Um, it's weird. Like, being on speaking terms with my neighbors, too. I'm so used to, like, not talking to, like, my neighbors and stuff like that. But because of how this place is set up, I have to pass by his door pretty often in order to go downstairs. And he's a cool guy. So, it's like, you know, I'm just glad to know that, like, I can actually, you know, interact with them on a positive note. And, um, you know, it's not weird. It's not awkward or nothing. It's just us just talking like how I'm talking to you guys. You guys are there, right? I ain't crazy, right? Okay. But yeah, it does feel good to be able to go to training again, like I'm going to go tonight, and just kind of, you know, get myself back in shape, get myself back into, you know, the condition that I want to be in, getting a chance to kind of see the wrestlers up close. There's no screen between us. They can hear what I'm saying. It's just, it's beautiful, because at some point, I'm going to be a part of that, and I'm going to... You know, I'm going to be a part of that community. I'm going to be a part of that universe. And it just feels good to know that that, you know, that is, is, is happening. Is I'm getting closer to my dream job. And I'm happy about that. Um, Not too excited, though, because I know anything can happen between now and the day that I become a wrestler. I mean, I could, you know. I mean, I, I'm still being cautious, but for right now, I'm trying my best to sort of enjoy the little bit. <sighs> At some point, I got to get a new webcam because I do have, I do have uh, the alternative computer that I use, but I like this angle. But I don't like, um, I, I don't like kind of how dark it is, how dark it gets. Because after training, you know, it gets really dark up in here, and I can't use the light because the light is elevated, and it just looks like shadow <clears throat> what else what else what else I ain't really got much of anything else a lot of stuff that I talked about is kind of covered on the um on the podcast which I am going to uh, have below and um get that situated there is um uh, once again I will always try to advertise comics plus the app called comics plus 
because it's the app that I use to sort of read the comics that I've been reading that aren't Marvel and or DC. And, um, you know, I, I definitely recommend that for anybody who just happens to be a comic book fan. Also, Libby is great. Like, seriously, use the library. The library is so good. This is short because I don't really, I didn't really have a subject. I just ramble and I'm just giving, keeping myself scheduled up. Um, but yeah, cryptocurrency is the devil. American finance is ridiculous. And I'm excited about, you know, being able to train again. I'm going to go ahead and uh, biz out because I'm going to try to do a little bit of working out. And um, we'll talk later. Love, peace, and happiness. Y'all be good.